Acción. Salina Chebotar, and I'm the representative of the feminist NGO Women from the Republic of Moldova. In the Republic of Moldova, we have uh, quite good legislation in terms of gender equality and uh, GBV uh, prevention and combating, but still we face many challenges. First of all, it's the patriarchal norms and um, stereotypes that uh, women still face and that keep them sometimes uh, in uh, um, discrimination position or, or in subordinated positions. The organization that I'm representing is a feminist organization, so we try to, um, to support women to become independent. Because uh, women, uh, for so many years, they have been dependent on their partners, husbands, fathers, and that, in, that dependence that makes them uh, vulnerable. So we're trying to help uh, women and people coming from, uh, coming from Ukraine uh, but then uh, slowly we started to create programs that would help them to both integrate in our communities but also to uh, provide that safe space where they can feel at least safe. We also have an institutional support from the Women, Peace and Humanitarian Fund and what, that was very important because we funded our organization in 2019 so it was quite a young organization and uh, we felt we needed some kind of um, capacity building support. <music> Women, they, in communities, in families, in their neighborhood, they usually uh, build and they maintain peace in all societies. And we have the, the knowledge, first of all, of the local context, of the needs of those, the most vulnerable, vulnerable groups, because we ourselves uh, are vulnerable in many different contexts. So we know the experience of those who are discriminated, who are humiliated, and we have uh, the, the power to, to support and to make a change. So we have the trust in our communities, in our rural, urban communities, and that's also what makes us um, uh, good uh, peace builders or, and also peace keepers. We need to invest in women, and especially in women at the local level, because the real change can be, made, uh, can be made only if you have a bottom-up approach. So going from communities to the middle uh, decision-making and then high-level high decision-making. But if we do not invest in women, women and girls in communities or women-led organizations, grassroots organizations, then we cannot have sustainable change, we cannot have healthy societies, we cannot have peaceful societies. So it's our right, first of all, to have these opportunities and to be, to lead the processes, to be the leaders in our communities, in our decision-making, in our politics.